Mara from Magic Bookshop, and I'm here to do my March wrap up video about all the books that I read in March. And I read a total of 10 books and a half, so I'll get started with my first one. First book that I read in the month of March was Vengeance by Michelle Meadow. This is actually a really short story, it's 50 pages, and it is after her first novel, which is Remembrance. And it was really fun and chill and easygoing. And you can check my review on the blog, I rated this book 3.5 stars. Next book I read was Winter Girls by Lori Halls Anderson. Now this book was simply breathtaking. I just loved it. I, I loved it. It was my first book by Lori Halls Anderson and I do look forward to reading her other book that was that's a really famous one. I, it's called Speak and if you read it tell me what you think about it below in the comments. But this one I loved it and the review I still haven't written wrote my review for this one. So it'll probably be on the blog pretty soon. And if you're wondering about how much I rated this, it is five with a star on the side to, I, to say that it's my all-time favorite. That good. Third book I read was Torn by Erica Arorki. Uh, Aror I'm sorry. But yeah, this is actually the first book in her trilogy. And the second book is already out. And the third one, it's not out yet. But yeah, this one talks about magic, and it's really fun. It was a good book, and I really enjoyed it, and the rating was 3.5 stars. The fourth book I read, or heard, because it was an audiobook, was The Name of the Star by Maureen Johnson. Now, this was a good book, but I did hope if it was a, like, if it was just only contempt, Sorry guys, I'm filming from my laptop, so it might be a bit sucky. But back to my point, if it was only contemporary, I I, I probably think the story might have been better because I didn't like the whole ghost concept and stuff. But yeah, it was a good book. So the rating is 3, which is good. Not bad. Good. The other book I read was Walk in a Heart Place by Angie Stanton. Now this was a really fun contemporary and... If you haven't read it, you totally, you totally should because it was really fun and chill and I just needed to read a contemporary so it was like perfect, perfect timing. And I actually just put my review of this book with my author interview with Angie, Stan Angie Stanson um, yesterday, I think. So if you haven't checked that out, please do check it out and tell me what you think. The next book I read was Replication by Jill Williamson. Now this book was great. I loved it. I loved the story behind it. I loved the idea of cloning and all that stuff. It was fantastic. I just loved the idea. And the review will be up on the blog soon. And if you're wondering, the rating is 4, which is really good. Next book I read was Slide by Jill Hathaway. Now this was a really good book as well. It was really fun because the idea of sliding into other people and looking through their eyes, it was the first time I read a book like that, and I actually really did enjoy it. And it was a good book, so if you haven't read it, go ahead and read it. I rated it four stars as well. And if you haven't checked my review, go check it out. You should. Next book I heard, so I heard two audiobooks this month, which is pretty good. Next book I heard was Watch Me by Lauren Barnholder. This is actually the second book I read by her because the first one was the one night that changes everything and i absolutely loved that book but this one mm, not that much uh but it was fun it was fun to listen to the voice might have been a bit childish though but overall it was good and my review still will be up on the blog pretty soon so check that out as well and the rating for this one is three stars uh next book i read is whispering hills by taryn browning now, this book was really good as well. It was about 200 pages, which was really short. And I actually did love um, Taryn Browning's first novel, which is Dark Seeker. And I was really excited to start reading this one because I was on, I'm on the blog tour, which is on April 1st, which is tomorrow. So you better check it out. And um, it was really fun. I liked the book and I have a giveaway for a signed bookmark and signed Dark Seeker bookmark as well and an e-copy of The Whispering Hills. Oopsie. So you should totally check it out. Rating for this book was 3.5, which is good. Really good. Um, the book that I'm reading right now, March 31st is going to finish after two hours. And I have school tomorrow, so I'm probably going to sleep. 
and I won't be able to finish it because, yeah, I have to go sleep after I finish this video. But it's Tangled by Erika O'Rourke. This is the second book, and the first book was Torn, which I also read this month. And I, uh, I really like this book. It's actually so far, it's actually way better than the first one, and I just love the magic and everything. Actually, from the 300 pages, I have 60 pages left. So I really did hope that I was going to finish it today, so before the month of April, but I couldn't. So, yeah, that's all I have for this month. Tell me what you think about the books that I read, if you read them, and about the books that you read. And link up your March TBR below, because I would love to see them as well. So have a great reading month. See you in April for my next wrap up.